Now, the cries in the main opposition, People's Democratic Party or PDP, are getting shriller from those calling for the party to reform itself and get back to the right path of rectitude before it is too late. The latest has come from the PDP's Board of Trustees, which has been meeting today. The board has expressed dismay at the shocking lack of direction in the party, with its leaders seemingly unable or unwilling to get a grip in an increasingly divisive environment. Every day, many in the PDP, some of whom used to be leading lights in the party, are resigning their membership, convinced that the conviction that once drove the PDP to make such a difference in this country between 1999 and 2015 has now begun to fade following what they see as massive political conflicts and crashes amid party constitutional illegalities. So the big question is, can the PDP ever reposition and reinvent itself, or is it all over but the shouting? As custodians of the People's Democratic Party's conscience and legacy, it is our responsibility to uphold the integrity of this institution and ensure that it continues to serve as a beacon of hope for our democracy and good governance for our dear nation. It is with a deep sense of disappointment that I must express the board's dismay at the continued shifting by the National Working Committee in convening a National Executive Committee meeting. This delay not only undermines the trust and confidence of our members. We recognize that challenges may arise during governance and administration, but adherence to timelines and commitments is non-negotiable. In as much as the Board of Trustees serves as the conscience of the party, we expect that the NWC would honor its word and convene the next meeting as, as scheduled. This is critical for resolving pressing issues and charting a clear path forward for the party. And that's Adolphus Wabara, who is the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party. Well, for her assessment of the travails of the PDP, I'm joined now in the studio by the former Minister of Women Affairs, Ina Chiroma, who's currently a member of the Board of Trustees of the PDP. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you very much How for nice having me. How nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. And um, the BOT chairman there, Adolphus Wabara, appeared in beyond what he was saying there, in recent public statements, to lay great emphasis, um, and it wasn't just him, other members of the board, great emphasis on internal democracy within the PDP as the way to win back public trust in the party. Presumably the PDP's BOT, which includes you, don't believe that the principle of internal democracy is being adhered to. Yeah. Um, honestly, as at now, the PDP is a, is a serious challenge, not only to the PDP members, but to Nigeria. Because the history of the formation of the PDP was for democracy to reign in Nigeria. The founding fathers of the PDP insisted that Nigeria must return to democracy. Mm. And they were able to face the military to ensure that Nigeria returns to democracy. What does that mean? It means that Nigerians should be able to decide who governs them. And that means Nigerians should be able to come out freely and vote for whom they wanted to, to rule them. Mm. Not just having people by uh, what they call unity list and whatever. And in the PDP of today, we are not practicing democracy as it should be practiced, as the formation because the name of the party is called People's Democratic Party, which means it belongs to the people and it is democratic. 
and our logo is the the umbrella and we say power belongs to the people mm. but as at now does power belong to the people in the pdp no the pdp members are not happy and we have the executive and this executive are supposed to supervise on the democratic process in the party but they are not doing it so everybody is concerned and it is affecting our political politics nationally because in a democratic situation you have the ruling government and you must have a strong opposition party indeed and the strong opposition party is supposed to be there to direct the government but at the moment in the pdp we have what we call the national public secretary do they come up with statements to talk about things that are not right in the government no and the if you go to the social media you'll hear people talking about the, the leaders of the party uh, being, uh, be, being manipulated by the ruling party. Is that what we want in Nigeria? Is that what the PDP fought for in 1999? No. The PDP stood for democracy in Nigeria. And as at now, honestly, the leadership of the party is not practicing democracy as it should be practiced. But why do you think that is the case? Why do you think that is the case? Personal interests. And unfortunately, in Nigeria of today, people have personal, they don't care about the country. They don't care about the party. As, uh, since we are talking about the PDP, do they care about the party? No, it's their personal interest. Because when you say people should decide what they want and people should have voice in the party, do people have voice in the party? The BOT, as it is, is supposed to be the... Uh, conscious of the party mm. we are supposed to direct the party to do the right thing and we have a constitution in the party but as at now the, co the the party does not even adhere to the constitution of the party and nobody will come out and say don't do this don't do this do that do that no so is that the party we want we want a party that can do the right thing well, as you mentioned, I mean, you, as we know, you are a member of that board of trustees of the PDP. Are you saying that there is nothing the board can do to force the Damagum-led National Working Committee to, you know, for example, one of the things that uh, Adolphus Weber I was mentioning, there was that neck meeting. Um, there's nothing that you can do to make them hold that meeting beyond expressing your disappointment as you're doing and as he did yeah well the BOT as I said as the conscience of the party they are supposed to ensure that the party constitution is adhered to strictly but as as, as I said because if we have a member that is active it has time limit mm. and once that one uh, has been exhausted you need to bring a new leader to take over and as it is we are not able to achieve that because of this issue of this uh, neck was supposed to be held since April. And from April up to now, we've been pushing it. Yeah, well, let, let me just go through that because that's an important point and particularly for the, for the people in the public who are watching. Um, there was supposed to be, as you pointed out, a meeting of that executive, National Executive Committee in August. Um, um, it was postponed to October the 24th and then moved again to November the 28th and again to the first week of February 2025. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it is that National Executive Committee that is supposed to resolve some of the challenges that are weakening the PDP and making it seem irrelevant. So this obviously is of enormous concern to you as a member of the BOT. Yes, you know, um, as it is... The PDP has various forums. We have the the governors forum. We mm. have the former governors forum. We have the ministers forum, we, and all these forums are supposed to uh, support the National Working Committee to do the right thing. But as at now, as we all know, there are serious uh, disunity in the party. People are not united to do the, to take the right decision. Mm. And we are at, we, even in today's meeting, it was discussed that all these forums must come together to ensure that we, we get it right. If we don't get it, we are destroying democracy in Nigeria. Therefore, the issue of insisting that National Working Committee 
I was once a member of the National Working Committee because I was a national woman leader of the party before. Mm. And uh, we know that the BOT as constituted, they are supposed to direct the party to do the right thing. And uh, unfortunately, we may not be able to do it. But now we have realized the problem is causing this party and the country in general. That is why we had this emergency meeting today to take a very strong decision. And you've seen the communique issued. Mm. It but, is but, but it's basically advisory, isn't it? I mean, you, 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 sound, you seem like you're powerless to do anything. <laughs> we are not powerless. We have the constitution. The constitution is our backbone. The constitution is there. It has, it has given every forum or organization in the party their powers. And the BOT has its own powers as a... Uh, the conscience of the party. So what can, what can those powers allow you to do now? That's to get to beyond making a strong statement? No, that, well, that, in fact, today we issued a statement that by January we are going to have a, another very strong meeting. And that meet, the meeting of January will take a decision on what is going on in the party today. Right. Yes, that is it. I mean, does anyone listen to advice of people like yourself i mean respected members of the pdp the, the bot i mean i'm just trying to put it another way but it, it just sounds like nobody is listening to you honestly that is one of the challenges of the party i used to say that as at now honestly i i feel so hurt that we don't have leaders in the party that uh, i listen to mm. because if we have leaders these are people that will now say, do this, and you don't do that. But as at now, we have this serious challenge. That all these things were discussed today at the meeting, that we must change our attitude. We must give respect to our leaders. We, have, we still have some founding fathers of the party alive. A lot of them are gone, but we still have some that are there that are still standing by the values of the party, mm. how, why this party was formed. And these are the people that are supposed to, when they say this should be the path, we should all follow it. But as at now, that is not being done. Well, I mean, it, it just appears we're not members of the PDP, obviously. We're not inside the party. But looking at it from the outside, it just looks as if there has been a, that as soon as the PDP lost power, it was so traumatized by that loss of power that it's never recovered. I mean, it's just been a downward slope since then. That is true, but that shouldn't be the case. Because when you talk of uh, democracy, it's uh, either to win election or lose election. Be because you've lost an election does not mean that that is your end. Uh, if you lose an election, there may be a re reasons to why you lose that election. So you must go back and check yourself and see how you can now wake up and then do the right thing. Mm. And that's what the PDP should have done. That is, let us go there and check and see where did we go wrong. And then from there we, 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 we take up and then we proceed. But as you said, honestly, politics in Nigeria is basically personal interest. It's not the interest of A, B, or C. It's my own personal interest. I can decide who will become a governor in my state. I can decide who will be a senator in my state. I can decide. It's not about getting the right people. Mm. And that is destroying our democracy. When you have leaders that will sit and decide who becomes what, what are we talking about? Nigeria should be democratic, so the people should generally come up and say, these are the leaders we want. We want to elect A, B, C, D. Not for someone to sit and write names and say, these are the people that should hold this office. But is that the, some would argue that the PDP was doing the same thing. No, that's, uh, that's what I said. That right. is why we are When it was this, in power. That is why we are having these challenges. So in Even a sense, now, you, you set that example. I mean, you, you were the first ones. The PDP took over from the military in yes. 1999. Yes. And you set the direction of Nigeria's democracy. We said the direction of a Nigerian democracy, but that, as I as I am saying, it is it has gone worst now, and that is not what the founding fathers of this of this party wanted. No, when they were forming the party, they said that in those after independence, after Nigeria's independence, we had political parties that were regionalized, mm. not national parties, and when PDP was formed, when they they were G seven, 
They started by G7. They became G18. They became G34. And then PDP was formed inclusive of every Nigerian. And the party now decided to say, we have this party and it's going to be zoning and rotation. Mm. That is inclusiveness. Every Nigerian have a right to become who you want to be. It, if you are a minority tribe, it, no, you are a Nigerian and Indeed. you have a right to rule your country. That was the, the basis of the formation of the PDP. And when they started with the zoning and rotation, uh, they, they, were, they were doing it. And, uh, but somewhere along the line, there were problems. And this actually affected the party. Hmm. And up till now, as I'm talking to you, we have this issue of how do we now go back to the zoning and rotation. And that is what is also causing the problems for us because of personal interest. People that are now saying, oh, 2027 is coming and I want to become this, I want to become that. How do I become what I want to be? Unfortunately for us, we have leaders. I agree with you that uh, PDP also uh, initially had this issue of directing who will be what. Uh, governors in the states will decide who will become a senator, who will become a member of House of Representatives. And if you want to be what you want to be, you must go there and be uh, stupid and be begging. No, it is your right. And if you are qualified, the people should decide mm. that this person is the best for us. We should go back to that. That is how I think yeah. democracy should be practiced. That, that's a very sound uh, assessment that you're giving there. But, but do you think, as some have alleged and as you hinted, I mean, you talked about the possibility of manipulation when we started this discussion. Do you think that there are forces um, within the ruling APC party who are trying to destroy the PDP and make it impossible for the party to ever be able to challenge the APC again? either as an opposition party or in elections in this country? Well, yes, because uh, as far as we are concerned, we believe that uh, the ruling party uh, wants to be uh, the only party in power. They don't want opposition. And the, all over social media, the news is there that uh, even the allegation that some leaders of this party have been bought over by, by the ruling government so that they can... Uh, be, be um, uh, manipulated to ensure that we have a single party. The APC government continues after 2027. They should not have a strong opposition. In fact, we are having information that some of our leaders are there begging to, to get the support from. The, is that the democracy we want? No, that is not. That's what we're talking about, personal interest. Mm. Because if we believe that we are going for people that have the capacity to deal. That's why we are where we are today. We are not getting it right, honest when it comes to leadership of this party, of this, of this country in general. We are not getting it right. On this current trajectory that you have described so well and so passionately, do you see the PDP ever getting back into presidential power again? Yes. Uh, we, we just can't lose hope. We can't lose hope. And I know that there are some people within the party that are also very passionate about this country. We have a lot of people, especially young ones, that are looking at how do we now bring up the party. Where yeah, but, but, but uh, sorry to interrupt you. A lot of people have left the party. Some of the, those young, very dynamic people who've been governors, people who've been ministers, I mean, they've left the party and they say that the PDP is in the grip of a destructive system. One of them described it as a cancer that is slowly but steadily killing the PDP. Well, in fact, it's good to realize that there is this problem. Since we know that there is this problem, then we have to do something about it. So I can assure you that a lot of things are being done to ensure that this party comes back. To where it's supposed to be. And a lot of Nigerians, honestly, in Nigeria of today, we in the PDP, we believe that PDP is still the strongest party in Nigeria. Well, it isn't. It clearly. is. Because every nook and corner of this country, you find PDP people and they are all pained by what is going on. Who shows that they are emotionally attached to the party? And as far as I'm concerned, we will not lose hope. We are going to work to ensure that this party goes to get its powers. We want to ensure that this party 
it becomes the seal. In fact, we are, we are hoping to win the election in 2027. Yeah, but how are you going to ensure that the party returns to that path that you're talking about when in the same breath you're telling us about how politics in Nigeria is purely about personal interest. Yes, now that we have realized... I mean, are you going to wave a magic wand and suddenly people, people will, no, we, will, we, will change and say, we okay, have, we're going to be we good? We have now known where that has taken us, which means we have to look back. If that is where that problem has taken us to, now we have to look for how do we now correct it? How do we now well, do Well, you haven't it? got that much time. No, we, 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 uh, we, we will do it. I can assure that the PDP will do it. Because this is a party that uh, has gone through serious challenges and they have survived. We will survive and we will get it right. Is that right, no, sorry, not, not you. Um. So, uh, as it is, uh, the party is there and then I'm sure Nigerians will be happy to ensure that the party, the PDP, returns to power. Right. And we will get back to power by God's grace. Okay, well, we hope that... Um it, it works out for you and uh, because Nigeria does need an effective opposition and um, the Nigerian people deserve the right to have parties that are worth um, their salt so that they can have a good choice and um, be able to make up their minds who they think should run this country. Uh, Ina Chiroma is uh, the former Minister of Women Affairs. She's also a member of the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for having me. And just before we take a break, just a quick mention here that um, we were yesterday talking about the tax reform bill in this country and part of what um, was suggested um, widely reported in the media as well, was that the uh, tax reform bill had been withdrawn from the Senate um, so the, and all the legislative action on it suspended. Um, apparently, the, the Senate is saying that uh, they did not actually withdraw the bill, that it was simply suspended for the moment, and that suggests that they will return to it at some later date. So that is the latest information which needs to be clarified, that the Senate is making it absolutely clear that that bill has not been withdrawn, that it has simply been suspended uh, legislative action for the moment, which would eventually um, mean that it will return to the floor of the Senate and uh, work on it will continue.